Greetings, my friends. I hope you are well. This is the second of six weeks in digging into the ministry of accompaniment. And today we're going to look at the value of mutuality. What is mutuality? Well, listen to what someone has written. In accompaniment ministry, we work to build up our capacities to proclaim and live out the gospel of Christ. We strive to recognize that we all have gifts. We all have been given gifts to offer to God's mission. We value these gifts while caring for one another's needs. Mutuality is built on giving and receiving trust as we grow together. In other words, in the body of Christ, mutuality is recognizing and receiving the gifts another brings to the table of relationship as we bring our gifts to the table so that together we can love God and love our neighbor. In the words of Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 12, I think Paul touches on what mutuality is. Give a listen. For as in one body we have many members, and not all the members have the same function, so we who are many are one body in Christ, and individually we are members one of another. We have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us. And going down to verse 13, so contribute to the needs of the saints, extend hospitality to strangers. I'd like to share a story now that illustrates the power of mutuality. In December 2018, Bishop Stephen Delzer and I made a quick visit to the Central Diocese of Tanzania to celebrate the ordination of over 24 new pastors, as well as to construct the covenant that would guide our synod's relationship with the Central Diocese for the next six years. Upon re Upon arriving at Kilimanjaro Airport and going through passport control, we went to the luggage area to pick up our luggage. And we waited. And we waited until we figured out that our checked baggage was not arriving that night. Along with the luggage of over half the passengers on the plane, our luggage was left at the Amsterdam Airport. As I always pack a change or two of clothing in my carry-on, and we had almost two days before leaving for our five-hour drive to the Central Diocese, I was not concerned. In fact, I was told by someone at the airport that our luggage would arrive at the hotel later the following day. Well, it didn't. And a day after that, we left for Singida anticipating that our luggage will follow us the next day, Saturday, which was the day before I needed what was in my checked luggage. The gifts of the Bibles and stoles from our synod, from congregations within our synod, that were going to be presented to the newly ordained pastor, pastors, and my dress. Well, Saturday night came and still no luggage. So I went down to the small gift shop attached to our hotel and purchased a red wrap, cotton wrap, that with my nice white t-shirt and sneakers could pass for appropriate wear at a worship service. So Sunday morning came and just a little bit after seven, as I was attempting to tie a knot that would secure this red cloth around my waist, there was a knock on my hotel room door. It was Bishop Alex and his spouse, Wilhelmina, holding two bags. One bag contained a lovely white gown and white head wrap trimmed with black embroidery and gold jewels. And the other bag contained a pair of white dress flats with sparkles. 
quickly changing, I arrived at the cathedral with enough time for women to wrap my hair with my matching white scarf. I was now clothed, ready to represent our synod and our partnership dressed appropriately. Mutuality. As Americans, we are used to giving material gifts, including funds to equip schools, healthcare services, congregational ministries, and other things with our partners. And when we visit, Tanzanians give us gifts, often yards of brightly patterned cotton, as well as hospitality in the form of worship, song and dance, food, and housing. These gifts express the love we share in our Christ-centered relationship. They're beautiful. But this gift of a dress and this gift of a head wrap was different. For Bishop Alex perceived that I had an actual material need. Something that as an American, we usually don't have. For a woman at an ordination of new pastors in the Emmanuel Cathedral needed to have a dress. A woman representing the partnership that the Southeastern Minnesota Synod shares with the Central Diocese of Tanzania needed to have a dress, not casual pants, nor a piece of cloth wrapped around my waist to appropriately represent our synod and to feel comfortable. For this event, this ordination of pastors was a big thing. And that dress, well, to me, to this day, it is a symbol of a deeper level of relationship that we now, as a synod, share with the people of the Central Diocese. For the very next day, Bishop Steve, Bishop Alex, and I wrote a new covenant embedded with the values of accompaniment. That's how mutuality works. Recognizing and bringing our God-given gifts to the table of relationships, while recognizing and receiving the God-given gifts that our neighbors bring to equip us to walk with one another and with the Spirit in bringing the love and grace of Jesus to our changing world. So as we leave one another today, consider the gifts that you bring to the table of your relationships. And also consider the gifts that the people you interact with bring. And how, how do you receive these gifts? Go in peace, go in joy, go in hope, so you can bring the love of Christ to all around you. We'll see you next time.